The Hilton Garden Inn is located on 245 North College Ave, Bloomington, Indiana, just a mile away from campus. Demand generators for the Hilton Garden Inn include being centrally located in the heart of downtown Bloomington and being walking distance to many restaurants and entertainment venues. The Hilton Garden Inn, being downtown, is extremely close to IU's beautiful campus. The campus is a huge tourist draw and one of the main reasons people come to Bloomington in the first place. The mission of this hotel is to be the most hospitable company in the world by creating heartfelt experiences for guests, meaningful opportunities for team members, high value for owners, and positive impact in our community. The vision is to fill the earth with the light and warmth of hospitality by delivering exceptional experiences, every hotel, every guest, every time. Many types of people, ranging from parents who visit, students who visit for orientation, or even people coming for a getaway, are often guests at this hotel. There are 168 rooms offering about 50% double queens, about 50% single kings, three suites, and 10 handicap accessible rooms. Depending on the room, the bed and room size varies. No matter what the room size is, there is a total of one bedroom in the room. Classic rooms contain either one king or two queen beds with a workstation, complimentary wireless high-speed internet access, a microwave, and a refrigerator. In a suite, there is one king bed with a separate living room, complimentary wireless high-speed internet, a microwave, and a refrigerator. Lastly, wheelchair accessible rooms offer a variety of features to allow the stay to be much more comfortable for the guest. They have different rooms for wheelchair accessibility such as bed size count, shower bathtub, lowered vanities, and lowered closet shelf. There is a room for anyone and everyone depending on their wants and needs. The Hilton Garden Inn includes many different amenities. For business convenience, there are audio-visual equipment rentals, business centers, express mail, fax machines, five meeting rooms, photocopying services, printers, and a video conference availability. For fitness and recreation convenience, there is a fitness room and a pool to use at the guest convenience. Lastly, for overall guest convenience, there is a restaurant with both walk-ins and reservations accepted, carrigs, full-service catering, 24-hour pavilion pantry market available next to the front desk, baggage storage, bar area, coin laundry machine, complimentary beverage areas, elevators, gift shops, laundry valet services, and local area transportation. The Hilton Garden Inn complies fully with the ADA. The hotel has 10 handicap accessible rooms for people with all disabilities. We were able to tour an accessible room and noted that we could not find one reason why the room would not be accessible or not follow the ADA. There are lower peepholes for people in a wheelchair to be able to look outside the room. The front desk is responsible for all guest check-ins and check-outs. Guests are allowed to check in at 3 p.m. and check out by 11 a.m. The front desk workers help guests find the room they want, keep track of their tab from their stay, and receive all calls from the guests regarding questions about the hotel as a whole. The hotel is in charge of updating the reservation software to keep track of what rooms are available and what rooms are taken. The prices for hotel rooms can vary due to the fact that the hotel is in a college town. On weekends when there are games, graduations, homecomings or orientations, and even a parent's visiting weekend, the prices will go up. While touring, we approached many different housekeeping areas and saw how the housekeeping works. There are housekeepers that go into every room every day to change the linens to be rewashed, clean the bathrooms, and give new terry to the guests. The only way they wouldn't enter the area is if the guests put up the Do Not Disturb sign. Housekeepers also replace any toiletries that have been used with new ones. There are many different food and beverage options. There is a pavilion pantry that offers chips, granola bars, an assortment of beverages, many ready-to-cook meals, and a freezer section with ice cream. There is also a restaurant located on the bottom floor of the hotel, Coach's Bar, which is a bar that offers dinner for the guests. There is evening room service available for guests to be delivered to their hotel room door. The room service is offered every day. Lastly, there is on-site catering. Whether you are planning a family reunion, a business conference, or even a wedding, they are able to choose from different menu selections in order to make their event exactly how you would like it. For our interview, we chose to speak to David Bola, who is the Director of Sales. He oversees a team of four sales associates and generates hotel revenue through various streams such as room revenue, catering, and event space rental. He is also responsible for increasing the hotel's market share. He looks back at prices that he had established in the past to see what worked and what didn't. 
He also raises prices on weekends that he knows there will be a lot of visitors in need of a hotel room while checking their competitors' prices. The hotel's general manager unexpectedly offered Vola a sales internship would turn into a full-time job after graduation. He hopes to work on a larger hotel, either a full service or a select service property. The management structure is fairly simple and straightforward. There are multiple departments that function inside the hotel, each playing their own part in keeping the hotel running and keeping the guests satisfied. Each department has their own set of employees that work in it. Each set of employees also works under a department manager or department head. The employees of the department report directly to their department head, but then the department heads report to the general manager. The staff at the Hilton Garden Inn take their job very seriously and value their customers' well-being.